here today at the Thousand Food Family. We're trying balsamic vinegar. <laughs> yeah, we are. We've got a couple of balsamics to taste. If you didn't know, we are eating our way through this book, 1,000 Foods to Eat Before You Die. And we are trying the Italian balsamic vinegar, the, the king of vinegars. So until we started this video, we just used to get this from Trader Giotto's, Trader Joe's, which is just this run-of-the-mill regular balsamic vinegar from Modena. You know, it's got the official seal. You think it's the good stuff, but from a video that I will link in the comments or in the comment section below, I'll link. We found out that the tier one lowest level of balsamic vinegars have this white vinegar as the main ingredient and the grape must is what you're really looking for. Which on this bottle, which is tier two, medium tier, also balsamic vinegar of Modena. But this, as you'll see, we've got uh, the main ingredient is cooked grape must with some wine vinegar added. Now the really expensive stuff, guys, that costs like 150 a bottle, which we don't have, is 100% grape must. Gross. Would you spend 150 for some balsamic? No. And plus it's like what? This big? Maybe we'll try it one day. But today we're going with this. We'd love to know from people in the comments if you've had the 100% grape must or what you found is the best balsamic that you've tried. Nicole, you've per put together some great things to try here. What do we got? Well, you know, we've got the caprese salad, which could be an entry all on its own, um, with the fresh mozzarella, basil, and tomato. I've got an heirloom tomato, which I cut a little funky because the stem was really large. And then this is an organic, just um, normal kind of beefsteak tomato. And then we've got some fresh strawberries and watermelon. Um, we've got another little treat coming at the end, but this is what we're going to start with. All right, now you want to pour a little bit of that cheaper yeah. stuff onto a spoon and give it a taste test. Whoa! It's probably too much. Wait, really wait. Really liquidy as we can see. It's very thin. Very thin. Have you ever had this stuff before? I know you can. I just can't see your face, so I was holding it careful. Does it remind you of anything? It reminds me of vinegar and grape. <coughs> it reminds me of every single thousand food family food that I have wanted to spit out. So, I, I love it. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and drink a cup Taking of it. Taking shots of it? No. The more you already tried it. No, but I'm just saying like, to me, <laughs> Balsamic vinegar tastes like salad. I put it on my salads when I go to salad bars. It, it's strong, but it has a really nice flavor profile. Okay, I just tried it. Very sour, very much like vinegar. Um, reminds me of uh, Easter eggs. You know, dip in the Easter eggs. Um, yeah. I think by itself, not the greatest, but put it on salad or whatnot. I've had it before. It adds a little sour, acidic to a dish. All right, now we've got the... Oh, I wasn't sure what to expect for this topper. 
Miles is excited. Okay. I'm yes. curious to see how, if any, like thicker it is. It's not a reduction, it's not a glaze, if you will. Sorry, <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, it's definitely a little bit thicker. Let's see if you can taste a difference. Okay. You can taste the difference. What's better? <laughs> that one's better? No, just take it down. And have a Go strawberry afterwards. Thank you. Try it. Put a towel here for Elliot. Don't spit in it, please. <laughs> Elliot. It's more sour than that one. No, it's less sour, but it's still just like. Oh, I can smell. Great. Hmm. Can I smell? It, it just does, tastes. It smells interesting. It tastes. I'm gonna let Talon um, try it. This is Talon. It's the what's it called? The emoji where you're like, it's not where you're like that. Nah. It's like when you're holding it in. It's like. Take your medicine. Even more grape. More grape tasting? That's fair. Let me smell. This is definitely has that kind of harsh back back end flavor. It kind of grabs you in the back of your throat, but on the tongue it is much softer. It's much more mellow. Oh yeah. This one is a lot better. You can actually taste some very interesting flavors there. So I think we've all agree that just if you're just trying it by itself, uh, this tier two balsamic vinegar, it's cost about 40 to $50 for a bottle, is much better than this $4 bottle, which makes sense. Gotta put both on, Mom. No, 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 just the good one. All right, so Nicole's making the caprese salad. Caprese. Caprese salad, mozzarella, basil, tomato. A little olive oil, salt, salt and pep. And we'd love to know what you think is the best thing to put balsamic vinegar on. Yeah, give me the small Let us know in the comments. All right, Talon's going to try it. That's a lot of vinegar. That's disgusting. No, you thank you. Eat that at a restaurant? No, never. Okay, I love caprese salad. I do think that normally when you see this application, you do have like a glaze or a reduction so that the balsamic sits on top better. This kind of flows over you know with the wet ingredients it just kind of puddles at the bottom so that's a little just you know distinction but it's so lovely with the basil the flaky salt and the olive oil everything together i think the balsamic really complements and this is something in the summer when tomatoes are ripe and you can get those farm tomatoes. If you don't do this, you're missing out. All right, now we're gonna try some strawberries with balsamic. Awesome. In a way, to me, kinda in a way of ruining foods that I like because I'm gonna be like gross, so. Mm -mm. 
Oh. Very sour. I've never done this, um, but I have had a strawberry balsamic sorbet at Salt and Straw, which is a um, ice cream shop at Northwest. And so I know the flavors go together. Yeah. I mean, you know the contrasting of the acid and the sweet. You know, you could get spicy and sweet or salty and sweet. It always when you have the contrasting, you get like a lot of playfulness going on and I like it. What do you think, Miles? I love it. Let him do it. Thoughts? What are your thoughts? I love it. You love it together? No. Oh. <laughs> Show it. <laughs> What's good about it? You think it's just a good combo of flavors? Yeah. I like sour strawberry. It makes you kind of excited. Oh, my, there goes Miles. All right, now what about some watermelon? Those aren't seeds, those are pools of balsamic. I've had watermelon with what? savory accompaniments like feta and mint. I don't think I've ever had with balsamic. Brings out a little bit of different side of the watermelon. Would you normally just pour that on there, or do you do you just think it's good to try once, but you normally wouldn't do that? Um, since I like watermelon with other stuff, I'll probably just. Probably just like, I like it, but I don't think I'll put it on again. Alright, let's see if you like the watermelon as much as you like the strawberry. Like it? Yes? No? Yes. Right. If people love vinegar, they should love pickles. But you guys aren't huge pickle fans, so we got to work on that. Okay, we've got some vanilla ice cream. Vanilla. Use a little bit of this on. That's enough. It works, me like in like, it works in a way of like almost like molasses. Like, it's got a, that's really interesting. I wouldn't call it like a fruity taste, but it's like a deep flavor, like brown sugar, molasses. I guess that's what you get when you reduce and reduce and reduce a, a sugar. Well, it's been sitting in oak barrels, so it's yeah. got a woodsy flavor. It does, I mean, it's not something that I would crave because I'm not really, I, I, I don't really, I'm not an ice cream person really, but I could see how that works really well. Like if you, it's reminding me of, you know, like those competition shows like Chopped where they have to make crazy things and then they turn out lovely. Like this is a, this is interesting. This is cool. 
Miles ate his whole thing already. I think it. What do you think of that flavor of ice cream? I like it. Kind of tastes I caramely wanna, a little bit. I want to have more. More near it. with the more croissant and vinegar. Take good. something Hello. else. Take tomatoes. Take cheese. Take strawberries. Just don't take bacon. My ice cream. And anything else that I like. <laughs> Don't you like strawberries? Tell him, tell him singing a happy song over here. All right, the sweet, creamy ice cream with that sweet and sour balsamic. That is a cool, refreshing treat. That's nice to try. I really liked it. All right, everyone, what do you think? Balsamic vinegar. Nay. Nope, you weren't into it? Gross. Yay! Yay? You thought it was good? Yep. Would you try it again in the future? <laughs> yeah. What was the best? What was your favorite thing I, to pair with it? Ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. All right, well, we'd love to know what you think of Balsamic. Please leave a comment. And thanks for watching, everyone. In fact, I, I agree with me that it's gross. Mm, yeah. In fact, I... I want to try it again. I want to oh, do it you're again. You're better off putting salt on your watermelon than you are putting that on it. All right. We'll see you next time, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.